Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing from Phlox Hair a 24 inch sport pony wig. Yes, I have to look at my notes. I purchased mine on the Phlox Hair website. I'm going to divide this video into uh, little sections in case you want to jump around. I'll leave timestamps listed for you down below because if you're like me and you don't know, you didn't know anything about Phlox Hair, you may want to know. Flox Hair is out of Canada. This is a small woman-owned company. Her name is Emily. And Emily had no clue who I was when I reached out to her about the sizing. I never mentioned that I had a channel or anything else. So uh, my first impression when I reached out was someone that was very responsive, that answered all of my questions. I mean, she answered, I think, within an hour or so. So I wanted to let you know that. Also, she because she is based out of Canada there is the the shipping was about $30 uh, to Florida I don't know if that's just a standard or if that's the way it is for everyone I didn't mind paying it um, this is a hundred percent human hair it is premium Brazilian and I'll get into the hair quality in just a moment but I thought that because I had a human hair piece I also wanted to include the, the the insurance on it to protect in case if it was lost or something. I mean, we never know with mail. So th that was about an extra $30 as well, which I did not mind paying at all because I did want a piece from her. I love supporting the small women-owned company and I love when it's the when it's the owner to take care of the quality that is being sent. As far as the shipping uh, time, it only took, I ordered it, I think it took about seven days from the day that I ordered it till I received it, which I don't think it was bad because I mean, it was coming from up in Canada somewhere and, it, and I'm in central Florida. So I thought the shipping was very quickly. I received the tracking information right away. I was really pleased. Uh, that it that I received it so quickly. I really thought it was going to take longer I learned about Phlox hair at, in some of the private Facebook groups that I belong to And many of the gals there were talking about what a great quality it is what great customer service and how much they loved their sport pony wigs So she does have other types of wigs as well. It's not just these but I, this is what I really wanted. The other one that I have is a little small on me. I might have to end up selling it because it is a bit snug. I purchased it in a small and I need something that's a little bit larger, mostly primarily because of my front to back, not so much because of the circumference. My circumference is 21 and a half. What, when I gave Emily my measurements, she suggested the, the medium for me. And it's because it's important that we have our measurements from ear to ear in order for these not to fit uh, too high up. And you also want it to fit on your front to back. All right, so the hair. It is premium Brazilian. It is high quality. I did some research. And when I do research on any type of human hair I try to look for information just like when I was going for my graduate's degree I look for information that is not affiliated with a retailer or not affiliated with a company just try to get the information as best as I can and I, and I look I cross reference from uh, various sites and they all what what really stood out to me from everything that they said about the premium Brazilian is that it is a thicker denier and it stands and it withstands the styling so you you let's say you curl it it will hold a curl unlike perhaps some of the others that may lose a curl maybe the European that is finer I guess I didn't do a cross reference I just uh, looked up the the Brazilian the other thing is is that it has a natural luster and it maintains throughout time this is supposed to last I don't know about three four years depending on the care that you give it so now to answer the question why a sport ponytail wig and I'll tell you why I am always on the go I go to the gym I go to Pilates I go to yoga I walk 
anywhere between five and 10 miles a day. I'm always on the go. And sometimes a wig just doesn't work for me. I need something that I could wear in a ponytail, how I always wore my hair up until I was about 55. I had thick, long hair and I wore it always in a ponytail. I love ponytails. I don't care that I'm 66. I'm going to continue wearing my ponytail. And this just works really well. I can go from the gym. I could go do shopping. I could go walking and it doesn't budge. I did wear it the day after I received it because I wanted to see how it was going to work throughout the day. If it was going to feel heavy, it doesn't. If it was going to come off, it doesn't. And despite all of my running around and everything, it was intact. Of course, the tangling was minimal to none because it is human hair. Uh, it's very soft. These wigs are meant to be worn up. And I'm going to show you the cap. We don't have ear taps here. We don't have any monofilament. It comes with a comb on the front and the pressure clips on either side. If you wanted more clips or more combs, all you have to do is reach out to Emily and she will add some extras at no cost to you. We don't have an extended nape. We have, we do have hook type adjusters. She recommends that we go up in size if we are between sizes. So I, that's why maybe she suggested that I do the medium. I don't know. The wefts. This is covered with a very soft material. While we have absolutely no stretch up on this part, because what we have there is a Velcro. That Velcro is going to prevent your, your wig from sliding when you add your, uh, your headband. The portion that is wefts, it's covered with a very soft material and it does have stretch to it. There is stretch there. The front where the clip is, again, there's no monofilament here. What we have is a lace material on there. These wigs cannot be worn down and I will tell you why and I'm going to correct myself from the other video that I did. You can't wear it down and the reason for it is that the wefts are going in a circular motion. They start out, it's sewn, going around and it ends right here in this uh, part right there. So it goes, the wefts are sewn this way. In our wigs, the wefts are sewn horizontally so the, the uh, fibers will fall naturally. Since these are sewn in a circular motion, in order to be able to get all of that hair, you bring it up and it's going to come up nice and smooth. Can you do this with a synthetic? Yeah, absolutely. You can do it with a synthetic. You might have to work with it a little bit more, but you, it certainly can be done. I'm not saying that it can't. Uh, that's not what I'm saying at all. The other thing is that because these are meant to be worn up, the density down here at the bottom is very, very light, light density. You're not going to get a bulge up down at the bottom we have a layer, just a very thin layer right there. And that will allow for that hair to go up and not to form a, bu a bulge. The reason why you can't wear it uh, loose is because if there is wind or anything like that, you're going to have wefts that are showing. The other thing is that right where that circular ends, where that sewing ends of the wefts, it's going to come up. It's just going to stick up because that's not what the fibers are meant to do. It's meant to um, be worn in that upward, either in a messy bun, up in a bun, or a ponytail. Can you wear it loose? You can wear it loose if you're wearing a cap, for example, a beanie or something like that. I don't wear a cap or anything with these what you can do if you have hair is do a, a lower ponytail. Don't do a high ponytail because that will create a bump, but a low ponytail would be perfect. And what I do, since my hair is short, 
I just take some of the, the pressure type clips, these, and I just uh, bring it back and I just add a couple of these clips around just to get the hair out of my face. I don't even wear a wig grip. You can wear a wig grip if you want. I don't think it's necessary. Before I show you how I put it on, I want to, I have to mention this because I am a sucker for packaging. It, your flox uh, hair piece comes in a nice sturdy box. Then inside the box, she sent me, and I don't know if this was a gift for a whatever reason, but I got one and she added a, a travel bag and that was in there. It included the, the bag, the satin bag, a hair tie, instructions for how to wash your wigs, and a personalized note that uh, Emily sent. And I thought that was really nice. She also includes one of these bands, these headbands. I really like these because they have silicone. It adheres to the Velcro, I guess it's, it's what it is, right here at the front. So it's not going to move at all. It's going to stay right where you have it. Granted, it's not going to move regardless of which, which hair tie, uh, which headband you use. All right, so that's really all I do is just add these clips. So you're going to apply this just as you would with a regular, with any wig that you have. You're going to basically fall into it. Wear it a little closer to your forehead. It all depends on how you like to wear your hair. Or you could leave some of your hair out if you have some hair. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it that way. As I mentioned, we don't have any ear tabs, so you could use the clips or not. I rarely use them. Once I have it on, then I take the headband. You could put it behind your ears. You could put it over your ears. It all depends on what you like and how your preference of wearing it. All right, so once the headband is on, now I'm going to tip my head down. As you can see very easily, it'll just be really nice and smooth all over. When I go to wear it, I'm just recording today, I'll add some root powder and that will, and I'll match the the fall to my hair or what match my hair to the fall rather please remember that i have a very low hairline i think it is so 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 incredibly pretty all right so what could we do we can do a few things we could make a braid if we wanted to we can make it into a, a messy bun if we wanted to do that. If you really wanted to leave it down, you could do a half up and half down. I did wear it that way for a little while because I wanted to see, and I asked my neighbor to tell me what she thought on how it looked in the back. So let me show you what that looks like. So you should be all right if you, if you want to leave it somewhat down and part up. I think it's fine. That way, the other thing is if you get a curly one, since those usually have a higher density, this one has 130% density. If you get a curly one and it's a dark color, you can't, that the curls will obscure the wefts if they move around and, and it won't show as much as on a straight style or a blonde style. If you really, really wanna wear it down and you live in colder weather, you could wear a beanie because the beanie will hide those wefts. And then you don't have any problems with it if you like to do that. And another way to wear it is with one of these beanies that has the opening at the top. 
and you could just bring your ponytail out and I think that is so incredibly cute. And the last thing that I want to talk to you about is the color. I'm not going to go outside wearing it because I don't have the setup to show to show you the color with it on. But I, I take some footage holding it outside in the shade and in the and in the sun. This color is Toffee Twist. This it, it starts out with a level six, which is a brown a brown base and then we have those chunky highlights and the chunky highlights and soft highlights I think just make it a beautiful neutral color I I really really like it and it's not going to be like right in your face she does have other colors available obviously this is the one that I chose this is the one that I wanted but she certainly has other ones available I'll leave the link to Phlox Hair uh, down below for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to Emily. She is just at the other end of the email and will respond to you right away. So who are these for? I think that if you are someone, first of all, that it fits in your budget. And if you are someone that's on the go, if you like to wear your hair up in a ponytail a lot, uh, it's definitely for you. If you like to go to the gym and wear your hair up in a messy bun, and if you're finding that synthetics are uh, creating too much of a bulge down here, then these this may be an option for you. I know it has certainly been for me, but like it, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to consider when when we're looking at a human hair piece. And you know, the most important thing is does it fit in our budget, and is this something that I'm going to actually wear? If it's something that you're going to wear just once in a while, it may not be for you. But if you like to wear your hair in a braid, if you like to wear your hair in a bun, if you're always on the go, it might be something for you to, to consider. I think they're great in the summer. I think they're great in the winter. I personally absolutely love it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have purchased it. And it wasn't like, okay, I'm going to purchase this for a review. No, it's because... This is probably what I'm going to be wearing most of the time. And I'm, I'm happy to support a woman, a woman owned company. I, I always am. That's to me, that's a real big deal. And I'm happy to support Emily and what she stands for and how she helps her, the wig community so much. Let me know what you think about the Phlox hair. Let me know what you think about this pony wig, the sport pony wig. I love to hear from you. Do you like it? Is this something that you would wear? And you know what? If you don't like it, that's okay. We all have different budgets. We all have different preferences. Our tastes are different. And I think that in this wig community, the only thing that matters is that we help and support each other and accept each other's differences. And, you know, some of us may like synthetics more. Some of us like heat friendly more. You know, it, it really just depends. And it's okay. It's okay that that we all have our own preferences let me know what you think i would love to hear from you i wish everyone a fantastic day and i will see you next time bye